Okay, let's go. Hi y'all, I'm Redheaded Neighbor and thank you so much for stopping by the channel for our little neighborhood here on the interwebs where we listen to all different kinds of music, like really we listen to all different kinds of music. And quite often y'all get me out of my comfort zone. You get me out of the little stuff that I have been listening to and it's like my little comfort songs and stuff. And you're like, hey Red, listen to this. And I do. <laughs> and most of the time I enjoy it. So that is one of the big pluses of of doing a reaction channel because if it wasn't for a little bit of the friendly peer pressure from y'all, I would miss out on so much good music. And the weird thing is, okay, like Motley Crue, they were absolutely around like when I was growing up and stuff. Uh, they were just not in my playlist if we would have had them. They weren't on a mixtape. Let me put it that way. I didn't own anything of theirs. I didn't have MTV growing up. Like we we were not that kind of family. Like we were out in the sticks and like my parents would watch the Grand Ole Opry and Hee Haw. <laughs> so that was my growing up. Um, Motley Crue was not a part of it. So how about I check it out and y'all can be with me. Now, obviously I have, you know, since then heard them on the radio and stuff, but um, as far as just sitting down and just, hey, I'm gonna check out Motley Crue, nah. This is all new for me. Oh, the things I do. So yeah, someone left a comment, I was laughing. They're like, good little Catholic boys. I do know the stories, y'all. I do know the stories. Okay, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Okay, <clears throat> this is like a shot of adrenaline. <laughs> I mean, I think that fits so well with the title Kickstart My Heart because yeah, it's like 
you know, your heart stops. They give you like that shot of adrenaline. That stuff freaks me out, y'all. I am not a medical girl. That stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what it feels like. All of that energy is just like, wow. And they were like doing that fun stuff where the, the engineering is like playing and, you know, side to side. I can just imagine back then if somebody had like a really good stereo system, like that was the thing. Like if you had a friend who had the car with like the speakers in the back, you know, and the trunk and we would like get in parking lots, you know, and well, not me, but friends. Um, hey, I did go cruising and park at the square before. I did do that and like just looked at people <laughs> but yeah so that that's kind of what it makes me think of it's like so you would just have all that you know massive sound coming at you it's definitely like party anthem it, it gives you like that energy like that big feeling it's fun you know like that this is kind of what I think of with uh, a lot of 80s music um, this, this is a whole genre that I avoided back then, um, but now I'm kind of into it because it's just, it's fun, it's just fun. And, you know, I, I listen to so much serious music, you know, introspective music or concentrate on it music that sometimes you want brain candy and I hope nobody takes offense at that, but I'm not looking for like a whole lot of substance with this lyrically. Um, but the sound of it, the energy, all of that is fun. Peter Frampton used to use. Okay, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that so much. Uh, yeah, it was definitely that shot of adrenaline I needed to get going this morning. <laughs> because, I mean, y'all, I still got sleep all over my face. You see it? It's like it hasn't left me yet. <laughs> this is this is me sleepy. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that was so much fun. I loved that. It, it definitely gives you like that whole feeling, right? Like I need to get my 
stonewashed jeans and denim jacket with like the um those buttons like little sarcastic buttons i used to have that y'all i also used to well this wasn't cool this is me <laughs> Um, I would take puffy paint and I would like make sweatshirts with puffy paint on them. Yeah, I was a DIY girl before it was cool. So anyway, just ahead of my time. Till next time, y'all. Um, yeah, come find me. I'll be back here doing all this stuff. And um, yeah, Check out the description below if you want me to check out your favorite song. No promise I'll like it, but I won't trash it. I'll tell you that. Even if I don't like it, I'll be polite. Right? Because I just don't believe in being rude. Unless it's just really horrible. But anyway, till next time.